In this video, I'll show you how to set up your new Pioneer Next in-dash receiver with Alexa built in to work with Pioneer's Alexa skills. Now please note, the Alexa skills I'll show you here work on the 2020 Pioneer Next in-dash receivers that have Alexa built in. And those model numbers are DMHWT 8600 Nex, DMHWT 7600 Nex and 76 Nex, DMHWC 6600 Nex, and DMHW 4660 Nex and 4600 Nex. So you can see that I have my internet access set up through my Wi-Fi hotspot or through my phone, and they are both working. I have my widgets on screen, and I have the system set up through my Amazon account. And I can do a number of cool things with uh, Alexa. What color is a zebra? Zebras are black, white, and brown. But I want to do more with my in-dash receiver. I want to operate the in-dash receiver. And to do that, I need Alexa skills set up on my Amazon account. Setting up the Pioneer Alexa skills to work on your compatible Pioneer Next in-dash receiver is really easy. To start, make sure you have your Pioneer receiver associated with your Amazon account. You'll know this is working when you can access Alexa for simple things like the weather. Next, simply access your Amazon account through your phone or your computer. When you're on Amazon's site, type into the search bar, Pioneer Alexa Skills. Click on the Pioneer Skills logo you see here. Then, simply click the Enable button you see here. That's all there is to it. Access to Pioneer Alexa Skills through your compatible Pioneer Next in-dash receiver is now ready to go. So this is what you'll hear the first time you open Pioneer. Alexa, open Pioneer. Welcome to Pioneer. With this skill, you can control your compatible Pioneer in Dash receiver through voice commands. You can change switch screens, the active playing source, sound settings, and more. For more control options, just say help. What would you like to do? Change to HD radio. So here you can see we've changed to the HD radio source, and we can choose uh, most of the sources on the in-dash receiver. Alexa, open Pioneer and change to the USB source. So here you can see we've changed to the USB source and we're playing a track. We have album art. Uh, we can do things like change the equalizer setting as well. Now I'm going to open the EQ screen so you can see this work, but you don't have to have the EQ screen work uh, opened. Here you can see we're on the super bass setting. Alexa, open Pioneer and change the EQ setting to vocal. And here you can see we changed to the, e the EQ setting to the vocal source. And again, I don't have to have this screen open. You can do it with the source screen open. So let's try another one. Alexa, open Pioneer and change the source to HD radio. And let's take a look at the sound settings. I'll go to the speaker here, and how about uh, my dynamic bass enhancer? Again, I don't have to have this open in order to do this skill, uh, but I'm opening up so you can see what happens when we change the skill. So here we go. Alexa, open Pioneer and add more bass. So here you can see we switched the dynamic bass enhancer on to its low setting. Alexa, change the volume up. Alexa, put the volume back down. Alexa, mute the system. You can see the mute up here. 
Alexa, open Pioneer and go home. Alexa, open Pioneer and turn off the system. Alexa, open Pioneer and change the source to USB.